What's happening? What's happening? Welcome to Quarantine Marketing Part 1. We're going to show you how you can keep winning. I've got 10 different ideas I'm going to bring to you this week. In case you're on lockdown or you get put on lockdown, you can come and reference these ideas and how to keep winning even when you're stuck in the house with not quiet kids. And I'll tell you what, anybody who leaves a comment, leave a question, somebody's going to get, I'm going to pick one person to, to pick, a, to win one book pack. All right, so you're going to get the Loan Officer Strategy Guide and you're going to get the nine figure blueprint. All right, so if you do that, Glenda, you're locked down. But yeah, our mayor just told us that he wants us to basically go on a self, uh, stay local to Arvada, you know, without them having to tell us to do it uh, officially. He's asking us to voluntarily stay local, uh, stay local to Arvada. So it's kind of interesting, right? So what's up, James? So yeah, so what I'm gonna do today, I've got three different ideas today. I'll come back tomorrow, share a couple more ideas. And like I said, leave a comment, leave a question. I'm going to pick one person to win, uh, to win the book pack. All right. So strategy number one is, is people right now, they're creating connection. Okay. So number one is connection. So how can you create, you know, how can you create connection with people right now? Because the thing is like most people they are used to being in their office, it, you know, they're used to being around people a lot. They're used to going around, you know, wherever they've been, wherever they've been doing. And, and now obviously that's not occurring, right? They're not getting those, that one-on-one -on -one connection, that human, human to human connection. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're proactively creating some of that connection with your network, right? So how can you create that connection? All right. Number one is you can be leaving Facebook, um, birthday video messages. All right. So Look, it's real easy. Facebook, you can just type in birthdays at the top. It'll take you to the upcoming birthday shortcut. And you can see whose birthday it is today, right? I had 10 birthday, uh, 10 friends today that um, had their birthday, okay? So what I did, and this comes out of the loan officer strategy guide, okay? This is strategy number eight inside of this guide right here, okay? It's the Facebook birthday video. So that's one way you can create a connection is when you see whose birthday it is, open up Messenger and go into Messenger and shoot them a personal video, right? So I can say, what's up, Zach? I see you're live. So I can say, hey, Zach, happy birthday, man. I hope your day's amazing. I hope everybody's treating you awesome and you're getting everything you want out of it. Have a great day, man, right? And that just, when you say their, their name, it, it people, it, look, you know, what's everybody's favorite word, right? Everybody's favorite word is their own name, right? So if you can do that, when you, when you see that it's their birthday, you leave a video for them and say their name. Again, this is not published on their pers on their wall and you're not clogging up their timeline and all that. Send this as a messenger message, okay? And say their name in the video, create that moment of connection for them, all right? It's also going to help spike your relationship inside of Facebook, right? It's gonna affect the edge rank because of the fact that you're messaging with those people or whoever that is, right? Those the 10 people I messaged today, now Facebook is assuming, okay, I have a tighter relationship with all those people because we're messaging. Now they have a you know, more likely chance that they're gonna see my posts on Facebook and this kind of thing. And like Glenda said, they always respond back to the video. And oftentimes they'll tell you, man, you're the only person that did this, right? Especially if they don't have that many Facebook friends. You know, obviously for a lot of loan officers, realtors, we have a lot of friends, right? Um, but for most people, they have less than a thousand. So, you know, if, in those cases, it's way more likely that if you're willing to get on a video, shoot them a video, you just create that moment of connection. Okay. So create that moment of connection. Number two, um, in the connection is that do be doing phone calls. Okay. A lot of times we can leverage, um, you know, these kind of like, uh, one to many platforms, you know, emails and text messages and all this kind of stuff. But ultimately that one-on-one -on -one connection is what people are going to be craving especially the people that are on lockdown, right? They're going to need that. They're going to be stuck in their house. They're stuck with their kids. They're not used to that. And they're going to need adult connection. And so by you just reaching out, it doesn't have to be some kind of schedule call. Just reach out. Yo, what's up? I see, I see David, Sean, David Lopez. Appreciate you guys for watching. You know, I could be like, yo, what's up, David? How's it going, man? Hope you're doing amazing, right? Um, by the way, if you're catching this right now live, do me a favor, drop a hashtag live. If you're on the replay later, drop a hashtag replay. Let me know how you're watching this just so I can kind of keep track of it. Um, phone calls are a great moment of connection, okay? It's a one-on-one -on -one connection. And, and again, that's what people are gonna be craving uh, right now in, in what's, in, you know, kind of what's happening in this moment. Um, the other thing is, is you can at least send voice messages, okay? So maybe, 
you know, I went to an event and, and I learned that communication, and again, maybe this is right or not right, I don't know. But what, I, what, they, what they said at the event was that communication is only 7% written words. It's 38% um, tonality and voice. And, and it's 55% uh, um, body language and nonverbal communication. Okay, so if you're not willing to get on video or you don't want to send video messages, at least consider sending a voice message, right? At least somebody can hear your voice. Voice messages are getting more popular now. Again, it doesn't have to be like some three-minute dissertation. All it has to be is a 15-second check-in, right? I see, um, Roly, this is live. You're not on the replay. That's so funny. Okay, so I see like Angela. Appreciate you, Angela, for watching, right? So I can say, hey, what's up, Angela? I hope you're doing awesome. Hey, look, if you're stuck in the house, let me know if there's something that I can help you do or if you need, you know, just want to chat or just want to spitball some ideas. We could jump on a Zoom or jump on a Facebook, you know, uh, live, you know, Facebook chat and talk to each other and, you know, so you can still create those moments of connection even if you're not going to have them um, inside your office if you're stuck in your house or whatever, okay? All right, number two is attention. Okay, so right now, you know, people, they're in their house, um, they're in their house, they're stuck, and ultimately, what are a lot of people going to be doing, right? They're going to be on Facebook, just like you are on Facebook right now, okay? And people are just, are, people are going to be more on Facebook. Like, I would say that people on quarantine, right, their screen time is going to go way up because they're going to be on Facebook more often. They're just going to be, like, maybe goofing off more than they would if they were in their house, I guess is maybe a better way to say it, right? Or, excuse me, if they were in their office, you know, they might be, like, way more work-focused, but if they're at home, maybe they're not going to be as focused on work. So you're going to have more attention on Facebook, okay? So how can you leverage that attention? Well, number one, you could go live on Facebook and you could talk to people, right? I've, there's 41 people right now on this particular live that I'm, that I'm on doing right this second. So I'm getting a chance to communicate, right? I'm, I'm, the attention is there. I'm demonstrating the fact that there's attention. You're watching this video because I'm creating value. You can create value for your network, okay? So think about that. What value can you create? Maybe you go look up some some blog posts about 10 ways to entertain your kids in a snowstorm or something, right? Look for creative ways to do stuff with people when you're at your house and you're stuck. People aren't used to that, right? Especially people that don't homeschool. We homeschool my son, so it's not as big of a deal for us when he's here all the time. But, you know, if you're not used to that, you have the kids in the house, then look for some ideas. You could be sharing that out with people, right? You could be creating value. Definitely go live on the personal page unless you want to run it as an ad. Okay, if you want to run it as an ad, then go live on your business page, otherwise personal page for sure, okay? So Facebook Lives would be number one. Give people ideas, come here, share some stories, right? There's different ways that you can leverage the lives, but you know, people wanna see this kind of stuff. They're, they're on Facebook, they're gonna be on Facebook more often than they normally are when they're at their office is if they're on quarantine, okay? If they're on some sort of a lockdown. What's up, Craig? What's up, Arlene? Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Okay, so consider going live and doing FAQs, telling, you know, these kind of things, right? Any... Um, you know, just leveraging that attention, okay? Now, okay, number two is tell some stories, okay? Everybody loves to hear stories, all right? This kind of blends in with the next idea I'm going to give you, but the stories, everybody loves to hear a story, you know? And especially if you can give some sort of, at the end, you have some kind of tie down where it actually matters, you know, why did they listen to your story, right? You don't want to just waste somebody's time telling a story that you love to tell, but it needs to have some sort of tie in at the end. You need to have a reason why you're telling that story and you're not just simply wasting, you know, wasting their time. Um, and then, you know, for the third thing on attention is that you want to um, basically, like you can ask, you can ask engaging questions, right? So again, people are on Facebook, they want to be engaging, they want to be talking to different people. So you can be creating that conversation on your profile, right? Kind of on your TV channel. A lot of ways I think about the Facebook profiles, like a TV channel, you know, people are coming over and they're scrolling through the networks or whatever, get them on your channel, okay? So be asking some questions. It also moves your profile up, right? It trends your profile um, when, when you have, everybody's engaging with your profile. So it tells Facebook you're popular. So then if you come later and talk about your business, more people are seeing that, right? Um, you know, we like inside the Legion of Loan Officers, we call that the edge rank slingshot, right? If you like these kind of concepts, the stuff I'm talking about now, you should check out oneagentaway.com and see exactly you know how we're doing this kind of stuff inside of the legion right by the way if you're coming on now drop a comment or a question and i'm going to pick somebody some random winner to get the book pack with the loan officer strategy guide the nine figure blueprint all right okay 
Connection and attention, that's the first two ways. Number three is entertainment, okay? So right now, people forget this, okay? But at the end of the day, the reason that people are even on are even on Facebook in general or even on social media, I mean, of course, there are people who say like, oh, I ought to keep in touch with my kids or my family or whatever. But at the end of the day, they're really there to be entertained, okay? And if you can be entertaining, then... By creating entertaining content and by you know being part of the value that they're there for, then you also earn the right to talk about your business or insert a commercial, right? So by creating all this content, now you get a chance to talk about your business, right? A lot of times people say, "Oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to talk about my business," and it's like the only reason you don't is because you know you haven't created any value. You're not being part of the entertainment and the reason that people are really on Facebook. But once you're a part of that and you're creating, you know, content that's out there, it's like a TV network, right? If you go to a TV show, if you go to a TV channel and literally all they have is commercials, you're out of there, right? But if they have like super funny show or right now, like I'm watching this, the Dexter series on, on, you know, on Netflix, right? And if Dexter had commercials still on Netflix, I would still watch the commercials, right? Because that, sh that show is earning the right to show me commercials because it's so great and I'm going to stick around for it. So you want to do that on your profile. How do you get people to stick around for your commercials? Well, you be a part of the entertainment. You be part of the value they're there for, right? Yeah, like Rick said, be great stuff, bring the funny, right? So exactly, you want to be part of the entertainment. So how can you do that, okay? So number one is you could be creating memes. You could either go find memes, you could be sharing memes that somebody else creates, or obviously in the end of the day, I think you should be creating your own memes. And sometimes you're going to have winners and sometimes you're not going to have winners, right? Look at that. If you look on back on my profile at that apples and oranges meme, you know, it got like 60 something shares, but outside of the shares, it got tons of people that just copied and pasted it or took a screenshot or this kind of stuff. But then also it inspired other people to go create their own version of that exact meme, right? AIM came out with a version of it. Fairway Mortgage came out with a version of it. Like you can be, you know out there at the same time, creating value, creating fun, entertainment, then you get the right to talk about your business, right? So appreciate it, Bill. And so, so memes, I think memes is a super great, and obviously some people say, I don't understand how that's valuable to my business. It's valuable because you get the attention, right? Once you have the attention, then you've earned, you can earn the right to talk about your business, right? Or have some sort of a commercial built in. So. But until you, you know, have their attention, it's difficult to get somebody to watch your commercial or care about your commercial if you haven't even got their attention yet, right? So if you want to create memes, I, I personally use PixArt. So it's, a, it's an app. So what I do is I just look like, say, for example, if I'm on Instagram, I follow a few meme accounts. And there's a tons of meme accounts out there where you can get into different Reddit. If you really want to get ahead, you know, Reddit is where memes come first. But... You know, I just find them on Instagram a lot of times on like what I would call, you know, trend center accounts. And then I copy, I just take a screenshot on my phone. I go into Pixar and then I edit it completely in Pixar. And I just, you know, chop it down to a square, put a white box on the top, add my text, add my um, watermarks on top of the photo. And I try to add them in to where it's not super obvious and annoying, right? Where the meme becomes about my watermark. Um, it's just built in so that if people share it, if people copy and paste it, it's there, right? Like the like that ugly orange apples thing that I made, right? It was super ugly. But look how many, like a hundred people posted it the same day that I did, right? Because people don't want to have to create their own content. So if you can be out here creating content, especially that's like locally relevant, right? Um, I'll share a meme page under this this video when I'm done. But it's like San Luis Valley memes, something like that. And it's where we used to live in Colorado and, you know, out in the mountains. And super locally relevant memes. And, like, you could learn a lot from what, what they're doing, right? So, so memes is number one. Number two, and by the way, if you're liking this content, drop me a, drop me a heart, drop me some likes real quick. And, and, you know, leave a comment. Let me know if you're, if you're digging this, okay? Yeah, R&D, man. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Now, me personally, you know, I go outside of the mortgage space. I find you know, other memes that are, that are currently relevant. And then I, you know, I, I move them into the mortgage space. So a lot of times when I'm making memes, you know, I make like four to six, eight memes at a time with the same picture. 
because you just never know which one is going to hit, right? And I'll just kind of like toss them around, think about it, try to figure out, you know, which ones I'm going to share. Um, and so, you know, that, that kind of stuff, right? So, but memes definitely is a great way to entertain people. Everybody loves memes today. It's just kind of part of the culture today. Is that what's in the meme class? Yeah, absolutely, right? And, and obviously Tyler, he goes a little deeper because he was talking about for an hour and a half, but he shows you exactly how we create memes and stuff. So what's up, Dax? Appreciate you for tuning in. So number two is to tell funny stories. Everybody likes to hear funny stories, okay? I'm gonna give you an example. Susan Mershon, if you're not connected with her, go look at her profile. She's a loan officer, I think out of Wisconsin, and she is hilarious on video telling stories. Amazing, right? It reminds me of the Chewbacca lady, how just like vulnerable she was with her laughter and stuff. Okay, that's Susan on video, right? If you check her out, if you can tell funny stories on video, if you're willing to get on camera and tell funny stories like, oh my God, you guys are not even going to believe this thing that happened, right? And, and you just get your emotions, allow your emotions to be into it, especially if you're a man and you're not, you know, you're stoic and you're like, you know, veteran, you've been to war, whatever kind of stuff, right? You still got to be willing to like, let those, take those masks off. And if you're going to put yourself out there, you know, that's how you, that's how you have to do it, right? You have to be willing to really get into the story and be funny and get into the details and, and really be there to entertain people, right? I mean, you know, that's what, if you're going to tell a story, then you got to go all in on the story. Don't waste somebody's time with some, you know, whack story, right? You got to, man, I want to laugh, you know, I want to laugh with you, right? Okay. Do the next live in that Dick Doobie jacket. Yeah, I might do that. Um, okay. So number three is, is bring on guests. Okay. You might not be that funny or you might not feel you're that hilarious, but maybe you have a friend that you always crack up with, right? You guys are always laughing and, you know, people want to laugh with you, right? It's a moment. It's a moment of connection, laughing, crying, eating, smoking some pot, having a drink, right? These are like all moments of connection you can create. And since we're on lockdown, some of those are out so we can use what we can, right? So if you don't feel like you want to be the entertainment, then bring the entertainment and go find some guest, find somebody that your audience your connections would feel valuable, right? And, and you have to decide who that is. I don't know who that is for you. It maybe it's somebody depending on your industry. Maybe it's somebody else within your industry if you're connected to a lot of industry people. Maybe it's somebody from your local market, right? Uh, maybe it's somebody locally like the mayor or I don't know, right? Think about who locally would, would be valuable to your people, you know? Um, and then and you can bring on a guest, right? So it's really simple at this point. You can do it a few different ways. On Facebook, you can just go live. You can turn, you have to turn the phone sideways just like I am right now, and it will allow you to bring on a guest, okay? So that's a really easy way to do it. And then there's some other tools that are out there, right? We'll talk about those later, but going live and just bringing on a guest or even pre-recording and then dropping the video um, with the guest later, but using, you know, you can leverage other people. If you, you probably have a thousand or more connections today, right? I mean, most people today on Facebook have around 1300 or something, I think. And for most realtors and loan officers, you're probably more in the three to 5,000 range. And so leverage those connections. Who do you have that you can go out and say, Hey man, let's jump on and do a Facebook live for 10 minutes, right? You're not asking for somebody's entire day, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's all you need. I don't, I don't even know how long we've been on here right now. Maybe it feels like we've probably been live for maybe around 15 minutes, you know, 20 minutes doesn't have to be that crazy that long okay so connection people are going to be craving connection while they're on lockdown especially if they're in their house with their kids they're not used to being there they're used to being around other humans other not humans other adults you know and having adult conversations so look at how can you do that right how can you create moments of connection with your network through phone calls through facebook messages uh facebook video messages through voice messages that kind of stuff right also, you're going to have tons of attention. People are going to be more on Facebook than they are normally because of the fact that they're locked down at their house. So how can you leverage that attention, right? By going live on Facebook, providing value, telling funny stories, um, just creating value, you know, um, and, and just know that you're going to just know that that attention is going to be there, um, asking, engaging questions, right? So you can just be part of the conversation. So as people are coming to Facebook, you're there, you're in the mix, right? People are like, oh, cool. Nick's at the barbecue, right? Um, What's up, Shaz? Appreciate you for watching. And then obviously be entertaining, right? Tell funny stories. Look for memes that you can create that are relevant memes for your market, your network, right? If whether that's a mortgage meme, real estate memes, I think local memes would kill, 
right? Because you can, nobody's, not that many people are creating local memes where it's relevant to, you know, your neighborhood or your little town and you can say something super relevant. Like I said, I'm going to share a page below this video when I'm done and you can check out what they're doing um, in terms of creating local memes and local content and, and you can kind of bounce off what they're doing. But that's three ideas. If you like this, do me a favor, drop me a hell yeah in the comments. And, and if you're catching the live, make sure you put a hashtag live, hashtag replay, leave a comment or a question, and I'm going to pick one person to get the book pack, right? The Loan Officer Strategy Guide and the Nine Figure Blueprint. Both of these are on Amazon, um, but I'm going to just give one, give somebody away to, on, on that. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Come back tomorrow. I'm going to do it again with three more ideas. I've got 10 total that I created. And if you like this stuff, check out oneagentaway.com or legionofloanofficers.com. You can see exactly what we're doing inside the Legion. This is what it's all about, helping you win. So hopefully this helps you out while you're on quarantine, while you're on lockdown, having to hang it out with your kids and, and all this kind of stuff, and you want to still be able to win, move your business forward, all right? We'll see you guys later on. Peace out.